Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today we're going to be doing a mini project in Python. So in this project we're going to be touching upon some fundamental aspects of Python which we have touched upon already in the previous videos but today I'm just going to show you a cool little project that beginners can get stuck into. So I'm going to show you how to create a weighted exam score average. So say you're a university student and you have so many different modules across the year, they all count for different credits and you just want to know at the end of the year what average you got just so you know what you need to do for next year or what classification you got if you are at university. So we're going to show you how you can figure that out in Python Python and write a little bit of code to calculate exactly what exam score average you got over your whole year. So we're going to get stuck in straight away. I'm going to put my glasses on as usual and move you onto the screen. So we've got our Python file here and we're going to start doing a bit of code to do this weighted exam score. So we're just going to put a comment and say weighted, if I can spell weighted, weighted exam score average. Okay. So one of the things that you need to factor in when writing this code is thinking of all the different aspects that come from, from different areas. So you've got so the amount of exams that you do, what each of those exams counts for, the amount of credits you've done over the year, and then factoring that all in, in when you start coding. So the first thing we're going to do is write down how many exams that you know, you've done over the year. So I'm just going to write here, entering how many exams you have done. So what we're going to do is we're going to say number we're just going to let number equal the variable because number of exams you could you could write number of exams we'll do it like that it, may, it might make it a little bit easier for people understanding so number of exams equals and then we're going to say int and then input input and then we're going to put enter number of exams so i'm just going to explain what this is doing here so we're setting the variable number of exams to the integer that is inputted into this here. So I'm just going to show you what this does when you run this Python file. So we're going to go at the top, click run, run, and mini project. Okay, so it's running. And what you'll notice here is it says enter number of exams. So this, what you'll notice is this here is exactly what we inputted here. So we're going to say, okay, I did, oh, I don't know, 10 exams over the year, 10, enter. And nothing's done, nothing's happened because we're just setting the variable to equal the integer that we input when Python asks us this. So what you'll notice now is if I was to say print number of exams and we run this again, Python will run through this, this file and again it's asking for us to input a number for the you know number of exams we've done. So we'll say 10 again and, and there you go. So it then prints out the number of exams because essentially what this is doing is it's saying let the variable number of exams equal the integer that we put in to this input here. And again, we put 10 in, so then it will print out number of exams. So that's perfect because it's a way of asking Python to store a variable that you input. So number of exams in this sense. So now we've done the number of exams, we're going to say how many credits you've done over the year. So at my university, we do 120 credits over the year. But again, this will be useful if, say, you've done, I don't know, two exams and you just want to figure out what average you've got over two exams. It, it, it completely depends. So. This is why we ask you to input the number of exams and the number of credits that all those exams are worth. So we're just going to put entering how many credit, oh, how many credits these exams cover. Okay, so we'll put total credits and we're going to let that equal to integer. Again, input, enter how many credits these exams cover. Okay, so again, if I was to run this Python file, says enter number of exams, so we have 10, oh, 10, and then enter how many credits these exams cover, so 120. And again, it doesn't do anything, but if we were to ask Python to print total credits and print number of exams, it would print exactly what we entered into here and exactly what we entered into here. What we need to consider now is you have one exam and then that will be worth a certain number of credits and then you'll have another exam that'll be worth a certain number of credits. So what we need to do is add up each of the percentages for each different exam. So the way we're going to do that is by using a for loop. Now if you haven't used for loops or loops in Python then I have done a video on my channel just explaining how for loops work so if you are completely not familiar with, with what they are then you know maybe check out that video but I will be explaining it in this video as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say let our average equal zero. Now you might think well why are we setting it equal to zero when we're trying to calculate our average but this is what Python is going to do. Python will take the average as zero and then it will add on the first exam times by credits divided by total credits you know the, the math the complex the complicated maths and then it'll take that average and add and add and add. So to begin with we must have our average equal zero 
for us to add anything on because you don't want it to be 50 because then you'd have your total average plus 50 you want it to be zero so average is going to equal zero to begin with so here we're just going to say begin with average of zero and then add up percent up I said that really auction sorry about that uh, then add, add <laughs> then add up percentages from each exam okay now we're going to move into the for loop okay so we're going to say for exam now you can put i most people use i in, in for loops and if loops and things like that but we're just just so you can kind of understand how the math is working we're just going to put for exam so for exam in range number of exams and we're going to just put a colon so what this is saying is for each of the exams in the range number of exams so what that's saying is you input the number of exams so there's 10 then it's going to take each exam within that number of exams so there's 10 so it'll take 10 so we're going to say for exam in range number of exams we're going to say we're going to say score because we want to input our score somewhere so again like we did to begin with we're going to say int of input enter exam score okay then we're going to consider the credits this exam is worth so exam credits is going to equal integer again of input and we're just going to say enter how many credits this exam covered Ooh, exam covered okay so up here we said enter how many credits these exam co exams cover but here we're saying this individual exam okay so we have the score and we have the exam credit now we need to factor in how we add each of the averages on so what we're going to say is we're going to say average equals now this is where we do a little bit of complicated maths just to this is how you would calculate an average so we will say okay average equals average plus our exam score multiplied by the exam credit divided by total credits okay we have an error up here what's the error here oh i need to put an s thank you this is that's the good thing about pycharm is that it, as soon as there's an error it tells you which is which is perfect so and then we will say print and you couldn't you can just put average but what we're going to do is just add a bit of text in so you, you know exactly what what's being printed so we're going to say your your average is and then we're going to print average okay so i'm just going to explain what this is doing okay so what this is doing is it's saying first we will set our average to equal zero now for each exam in range number of exams so number of exams will be an integer in, in this case as we've assigned up here and it will say this will input the score for that specific exam and the exam credit for that specific exam and then it will say average will equal average and obviously to begin with our average is zero plus and this is the percentage for that particular exam okay and then it will loop back around again go to exam two you'll put input your exam score how many credits this exam covered and it will make average equal to previous average from the first exam and then add on the second exam's percentage and then it will loop round and round and round until it gets to the end to the final exam number which again in our case was 10. So I'm just going to show you what this will do when I run it. So we're going to click run. And we're just going to pop this up a little bit so you can see what's going on. So enter number of exams. Okay, well, let's just test it works for one exam. So let's say one exam. Enter how many credits these exams cover. Okay, well, this is one exam. Let's say it was a 20 credit exam. 20. And my exam score was 60. And we'll click enter. Enter how many credits this exam covered. 20. Enter. There we go your average is 60 so it works for one let's have a look if we were to run it again and do it for something a little bit bigger so if we want a real life example i can simply put in my summer exams which i did in june i think it was or july anyway i'll put in the exams i did then so i actually did five exams but one of them was made to a pass or fail which means it doesn't count so I have to factor that, factor that one in. So I did four exams. So we'll say, okay, enter number of exams. I did four. Enter how many credits these exams cover. So my four exams covered 45 credits. So then it says enter exam score. So my first exam score was 87 and that covered 15 credits. And then it asked me to enter my exam score again. So we'll go on to my next exam, which I got 94 and that covered 10 credits. And then my next exam score was 96 and that was 10 credits as well and then my next exam score was 97 and that was also 10 credits and there we go 
that's that was my average for summer which i was very happy with actually um 92.777 and i'd actually already calculated that so perfect so we can run it again and we can input some more exams you know you could if you're in your third year you could figure out what your first year percentage was your second year or your overall classification degree classification if if you will and that is how you make a weighted exam score in python so this video is very much incorporating a few different aspects of python so we have variables we have for loops and making it a little bit more interactive by asking the user you know enter number of exams enter your exam score so it's quite nice that it, it adds that element of interaction with with python and this is a perfect project for beginners to do because it's something very very simple in python but something that you know once you do it and you figure out how it works it's actually really rewarding and this was actually one of the first projects i did when i was learning how to code so that is the video today i hope you enjoyed if you did then please like subscribe and comment and i will see you all in the next video the next video is actually going to be a mini project two and that's where we explore turtle in python and that's where you can make some pretty cool drawings in python so join me next time and i will see you all there